Okay, welcome to episode two. And in this episode, we're going to be adding name tags. So I know you're probably dying for me to teach you to add guns and stuff. But um, yeah, screw you, I guess. We're going to add name tags. So we have this connecting UI that came with the map. And we also have this name UI. So let's set up that logic. So the way this will work now is we will first choose a name and then we will connect to the server join a lobby blah 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 right okay so we'll add a public void connect to server and we will move all of this code inside here and this will be called by this join button now let's create the code for changing your name. So this uses a simple input field. It's created like this, UI, input field, text match pro. And this has a method called onValueChanged. So this calls a function in any script that takes in a string and it passes in the text that's written here. So it's super handy. So let's create a private string current name. And we'll create a function for this input field to call call. So we'll add a public void change name. And it'll take in a string of name. And we'll set current name equal to name. And then when we join the room, we want to set our name in the like the room to whatever we chose. So on join room, we'll set photon network dot local player. So the local player is us. We are our version of the player, aka the local player. Dot nickname equals to current name. So we update the name in this value, and then later we use that value to set it on the network. So now we need to call these two functions using our UI. So in our input field, under on value changed, click the plus and drag in your room manager. Click on no function, go to room manager, dynamic string right in this section. And we want to find our change name function, which takes in the string. And in the create room button, on a click, room manager, Room manager, and we want to call the connect to server function. Make sure it's this one. And we also want to firstly enable this connecting UI. So connecting UI, game object dot set active true, and we want to disable our nickname UI. Game object dot set active false. Make sure it's in this order because if you disable this first, right, then none of this will happen because this is disabled. So make sure you disable it last, like so. And we can give this a try. So pick a name, Alex. We click join, connecting. It's starting doing its thing. Bing bang bong, and we're in. Cool. Now we want a way to display the name on our players. So let's go to our player prefab. I'll just align it like so. You can press the square to go into orthographic view. And in here, I'll right click, create a UI canvas. And right now this is a overlay canvas. What we want is a canvas in the world, in the world space. So we'll change the canvas render mode to world space. Like so. And let's just decrease its size by a lot. And we can move it above the player. X position of zero, Y position of 1.5. Maybe a width of five is suitable. Let's just reset the scale. Very nice. Let's make the Z, Z position zero. So it's aligned directly above the player. And inside of this canvas, we want to have our nickname text. So let's add a UI text, text mesh pro. 
and it's massive. Let's decrease the size to um, just center it. Maybe like one. Maybe even 0 0.5. And I'll change the fonts to Roboto. That looks good. We can give it an outline if you want, just so it's more visible. Or you can give it a shadow, which is what I'll do. So you can dilate this. Let's make it darker. And if you want, you can make it soft shadow or a hard shadow. I like this. I think it looks cool. I'll just position it nicely. And now we want to set this based on whatever player, whatever player's name this is. So let's go into our player setup and let's add a space and we'll add a public text mesh pro UGI and we'll call this name text. And we want to set this name text to the nickname of the owner of this player, right? Not our local player, but whoever created this player initially, basically who this player belongs to, right? And we can get that using, once again, the photon view component. So we'll set, we'll do name text dot text, and this will be equal to photon view. So the photon view attached to this dot owner dot nickname oops and we can save that and i hope you're realizing like how simple networking really is when you're using the right packages make sure to drag in your name text into your player setup and there will be one issue with this which i'll explain now if we play this let's say we'll call this guy a build and this guy, you know, see player, the name tag works flawlessly, but you can't see it because it's not facing the camera properly all the time. So how do we fix this? It's actually quite simple. What we'll, what we'll do is go to our player. We'll create a new empty game object called name tag rotator. I reset this position. Let's set the Y to one drag our canvas under our name tag rotator, and let's add a new script to our name tag rotator. We'll call it name rotator. And we just need the update method. Oh, what have I done? There we go. Oh. Okay, and in the update method, we'll do transform dot look at camera dot main dot transform and that is all so save that and there's one more absolutely like crucial step which is to set all your cameras tag to be main camera so in your fp camera set that tag to be main camera and also in your room manager room cam set that tag to be main camera now if we play this set a name now if we play this we can see that the name tag is looking at us perfectly but there's a slight issue which is that you can see your very own name tag so we need to find a way to disable your own name tag on your copy of your player right so let's go to our player setup and we want to check basically if we own this player so this is our copy of our player on our computer, not like the copy of our player on someone else's computer, but our copy that we own on our computer, well, we want to disable the name tag. So all we need to do is basically this, but opposite. So we'll do name text dot game object dot set active. And we want the opposite of photon view that is mine. So we'll set it active true only when Photon View is not mine. So the way to do that is exclamation mark, Photon View, 
dot is mine. So the exclamation mark is just opposite. So is not mine. Cool. Save that. Let's choose a name. Mana dev. And, oh, works like a charm. Look at that. Cool. I will see you in the next one. We'll finally add guns. It'll be awesome. Peace.